there everybody, Matt here from Matt's Trains and Tractors. Before we jump into today's video, I really do need to apologize for the very uh, inconsistent uploads in my YouTube channel recently. Uh, school has been very hectic and uh, very busy, so I've been trying to balance everything, but as priorities go, school does come first. Uh, as much as I do care about my YouTube channel, you know, there are bigger priorities on the table currently, so I'm trying to take my time with that. But School is almost over. In a matter of a few weeks, I will have lots more time to film videos, so definitely be sure to stay tuned for that. But today, we're going to be talking about uh, Lionel's sound cars, not Vision Line. If you'd like to go take a look at the Vision Line sound cars, I have made a video on that. Uh, the link to that will be in the description box below for any of you, those who are interested to go check out. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about standard Lionel sound cars. I have made a video about this over a year ago, uh, but that was back when my channel did not have very good quality and I wasn't very proud of the way I did that. For such a good topic and for such a good car, I felt like it deserved a better quality video. So as the expectations for my channel go, I am bringing you guys that high quality content. So I hope you enjoy today's video. So why are these Lionel sound cars such high quality? In my opinion, I feel that their price is very appropriate for what they bring forth to the table. Uh, these sound cars for as low as $115, you can get a normal high quality Lionel car, whether that being a tank car or a box car, which I will be showing you guys today. And like I said, it comes with the standard high quality features that you'd expect from Lionel, and it comes with sounds as well. So yes, of course, the sounds are gonna make the car more expensive, than your average box car or tank car. But I also feel that with a layout like mine that doesn't have a lot of scenery, I am working towards that, but currently it does not have a lot of scenery and is not very realistic. These sounds really just bump up the realism level. When you're out rail fanning, I'll play a clip of a train going by. You hear the squealing and the screeching of the flange or whatever, the wheel, the axle on the cars or even the train as well. So the locomotives that Lionel makes, they have their own rail sounds features, but these cars are like other rail sounds speakers within the consist of your train. So it really brings up that realism level and just makes your whole consist as well as your layout much more realistic and awesome overall. So let's take a look at these cars and look at their great detail. So we'll start with the Union Pacific Fruit Reefer boxcar and then we'll move on to the tank car. So this Union Pacific boxcar really has some amazing quality to it. The tops of the Fruit Reefer loading do come off just like that. So it's very, very intricately detailed and extremely nice. So this guy is really awesome. And just like any sound car on the bottom, you can control if you'd like the sound on and if you'd like the sound on low or high. So would you like lots of sound or would you like a little bit of sound? So this car is very, very nice. I am very, very impressed with the quality. The fact that these guys open up, very awesome. Moving on to this tank car, what I really like about this 30K tank car is it's almost identical, just besides the uh, road name, it's literally identical to those to that three pack of Philadelphia Energy tank cars that I have. So I basically have a four pack, um, but now just one has sound. And Lionel does recommend that you space out your sound cars, about four to five cars, just to avoid like feedback or any overlap in the sounds. Um, so this car really does work great because I can run four tank cars in a row or some cars in the middle and then have another sound car and it sounds awesome. And then you may be saying on the bottom there are no controls. What's really cool about this guy is that this pops down, this opens up, and then you have a whole control panel inside of there. It's, uh, it's like a printed circuit card in there with just a few controls. So same exact controls that were on that Union Pacific Fruit Reefer. How much sound do you want and if you like the sound. So they do conceal those buttons very nicely. Lionel did get very creative with the concealment of the con sound controls on the tank car. So they did a very nice job here and the overall body and detail styling does look absolutely fantastic. So now we're going to talk about the sound and why the sound is so great. So now we're gonna talk about really why these sound cars are just amazing, which is the sound that they put out, hence the name sound cars. If you look at my layout, you can see that the scenery is not all there, nor is the realism of it. However, the sound cars is a way for me and a way for many other model railroaders who do what I do to really just elevate the realism on your layouts.
So now that we've heard the comparison between no sound cars and sound cars on a layout that really I believe makes a huge difference when there are sound cars, let's run these cars in a contest around the layout a little bit. You guys do enjoy when I run trains around my layout, so here's just that. From the cars having an excellent build quality with high detailing all around to them having a high quality speaker that produces high quality and car specific noises, these sound cars exceed expectations while still being at a relatively low budget and not being vision line. If you'd like to check out some vision line sound cars, I'll leave a link to me checking those out in the video description below. So I do highly recommend that video. Those cattle cars are very, very awesome and they are sound specific as well. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. New content is on the way, guys. There's this big video. I put something up on my Instagram. It's, it's gonna be awesome. But let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comment section. I know I rant with my outros, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Peace, everybody.